Now, let's shift our attention to the bigger picture from Operation Warp Speed. Top leaders shared an update on those federal changes just a few hours ago. Paula Tupman sat in on the virtual briefing and joins us now with the la very latest. Paula, what did you find out? Hi, Karen. Well, lots was said. I think the two biggest takeaways are the way Operation Warp Speed is going to be distributing the vaccine to states and how they're advising states to administer those vaccines. Keep in mind, states have been pretty much doing their own thing, and not a lot of them are happy with what's been going on with Operation Warp Speed. Four quick and important points. Michigan is amongst the top 15 states for COVID vaccine distribution. Governor Whitmer has long complained that the gum up in getting more vaccines into arms stems from not getting what's needed from the White House administration. And the federal government currently has upwards of 50% of current produced vaccines held back by the administration. Now, Whitmer has scored 100,000 doses from the Department of Health and Human Services on her own. And today, the Department of Health and Human Services and Operation Warp Speed patted itself on the back for what it called flawless distribution. Despite the complaints from numerous states that more vaccine doses are needed, today in its last briefing, Operation Warp Speed put the blame on the states. We went to over 636 sites on day one. Saying that all Often it was a data collection or reporting problem and that this plan is going exactly as it was planned all along. We'd always planned to move to a more advanced phase of how we manage this once we had confidence in our supply chains. That is the key trigger we needed to see. Today, two changes were announced. Who can get the vaccine and how states will get the vaccine in a use it or lose it stance. In order to ensure doses are being put to use and put to use for the most vulnerable, we will be allocating them based on the pace of administration as reported by states. And I think with the new incentives that we are announcing today that states will receive their allocations in part based on the data that we have on what percent of vaccine that they've received have they actually gotten administered, uh, we'll see that data improve. Yeah, okay, so this was all part of this last mile scenario, Karen. I want to go back to something you said leading into me when you were talking about people 65 and older can start getting the vaccine. That was also announced today, as well as people with comor comorbidities or things that could exacerbate this disease, uh, 16 to 18 to 64, depending on the vaccination. But keep in mind, this is something that Michigan started doing yesterday. And they announced it today. All right. Good perspective. All right. Thank you, Paula.